Good afternoon, food lovers, and welcome to Neri's Kitchen. Today, we will be making five high-protein recipes. Hitting your protein goal for the day is tough, and it's one of the most underrated ways to help you lose fat. Protein helps you repair and build muscle, which in turn helps with metabolizing and burning fat. On this episode, I will demonstrate how easy it is to get your protein in. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing I wanted to make was proats. And if you're, if you're unfamiliar with proats, it is basically protein oatmeal or overnight oats. So I will show you a basic recipe on how I make proats. You start off with about a third cup to a half cup of oats, just into a little bowl like this. And then you want to sprinkle it with some cinnamon. And cinnamon, remember, has fat burning properties. So I always like to add cinnamon to my oats. And now the protein, we're going to add one scoop of vanilla protein powder. I like to use vanilla because, um, I don't have a scoop in here. <laughs> I like to use vanilla because you know what, you can customize it to any flavor you like. Um, and it works well with fruit if you want to add some fruit. So I'm just going to add about a scoop here of vanilla yogurt. There you go. And then we just add a cup of milk, almond milk, or if you don't have um, any of this, you can just use some water as well. But I like to use almond milk just because it makes it a little bit more creamy. So you just add it into your bowl like this, and then you mix it up. And this is how easy it is to make your overnight oats. So you can let this sit in the fridge for an hour, or you can eat it right away if you'd like. Or keep it in the fridge overnight and, and enjoy it the next morning, up to you. And look, it took me about a minute to make, so super, super easy. You can also add some chia seeds too for some added benefits. Um, chia seeds add some extra fiber, which help you with uh, digestion. Um, so it's really good too. And it actually puffs up when you put chia seeds into your oats. It actually makes you feel fuller too. And it actually does make you really full. So if you have chia seeds, Add your chia seeds into your protein oats or proats. And there you have it. So this is it, the finished product. We're just going to actually pop this into the fridge and let it sit for a bit. So this is protein meal number one. And this has about, I would say, 20 to 30 grams of protein, depending on your ingredients that you use. All right, number two, we're going to be making progurt. Progurt, progurt is actually protein yogurt and uh, super simple as well. I'm just going to use some skier yogurt and I like to use skier because um, it actually tastes less sour than Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt has, um, I, I like Greek yogurt as well, but this one has more of a neutral flavor I find. And uh, here I'm using 0% of plain skier yogurt and three quarters of a cup of this have 20 grams of protein, not too shabby. So let's start off with a bowl here. Uh, once again, let's just add our protein in. So a scoop of protein. Oh! You lost it. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> Accidents, and I'm wearing black. Okay, so one scoop of vanilla yogurt. Again, I'm using vanilla because you can add any topping to it um, and flavor it as you go along, but I like to use vanilla. Again, some more cinnamon. If you want to go fancy, you can always add some pumpkin pie spice. I've seen people do that. You can always use chocolate protein powder. I actually used to add cocoa powder to this as well, and it actually tastes really nice. It has a nice deep flavor. So I'm just gonna use, um, I'm gonna use three quarters of a cup get our 20 grams of protein in. So that's one. There you go. Okay, so that's our three quarters of a cup. That is 20 grams of protein. So let's mix this. So I like to add some, um, some bananas on top of this. It's really nice. Some frozen fruit works really well. Some chopped nuts. You can also add some granola if you'd like, but be careful on the granola. Granola is actually pretty high in carbs and high in calories, so make sure that you're careful when adding the granola. 
And there you go. So this is meal number two. It took no time to prepare. You can eat it right away or prepare it the night before and enjoy it the next day. And remember, uh, you want to plan for success, right? So make sure you always prepare your meals in advance. So that's meal number two. And we'll just add this here. Now meal number three, super simple again, but also underrated, pre-made canned tuna. So here I have this flaked dill tuna. It's, it's amazing, it tastes really good. One can is about 140 calories and has 18 grams of protein. So you can eat this as a snack. I actually like to eat two of these as a meal and get about 18 times two. What is that? Jerome, 18 times two, Six, 36 grams of protein. <laughs> so two of these is 36 grams of protein. But if you don't want to have two of these, I also have just a normal, just plain can of tuna. And one can of tuna has, uh, let's see here, 26 grams of protein, wow. right? So, I mean, you choose whichever works best for you. I like this when I'm on the go. If I'm at home, I will eat this can, but eating it straight out of the can is, is pretty gross, right? So I actually like to flavor my tuna. So I'll just show you how I prepare my tuna because you want it to be tasty, right? You want to enjoy your food. Again, these are super simple ways to get your protein in. You don't always have to be eating chicken breast and broccoli. So let's drain this. And then let's add it into a bowl here. Okay, just a second, let me get a fork. Jerome, how do you like to eat your tuna? Oh, I like it uh, microwave. You like right? it microwave? Yeah, okay. Microwave. Like a little bit hot there, then a little bit of rice and Oh, bread. rice. <laughs> Jerome really likes his rice. Who doesn't, right? I mean, it's no. an Asian staple. You grew up with rice, but it's funny, every time he comes over, he's like, Mary, do you have rice? I'm like, Jerome, you got to give me some notice to make rice. <laughs> I do not have pre-made rice. Okay, so just a can of tuna I add it into a bowl I also like to add some dill it kind of cuts that fishy taste out and also it's nice to add something green to your food right you feel better let's add lots yeah more and then I'm going to be so I have this low or half fat mayo it says one tablespoon is 40 calories I'm just gonna add about a tablespoon that's about a tablespoon And then just, that's it. Just mix it. If you want to add some pickles, pickles taste really nice. Um, RJ likes to eat this with, um, with celery. You can make, put this over some bread and have a sandwich. It doesn't have to be boring. I like to actually eat these with um, some onion and corn. It sounds kind of gross, but onion and corn really work nicely together with tuna. So this is meal number three, super simple tasty and high protein. So let's put this over here. Okay, number four, pancakes. Who doesn't like pancakes? I like pancakes. Okay, so every Wednesday, my kids have a uh, boys breakfast with their dad, right? Uh, so they always have pancakes, but you can always make protein pancakes on your own, which is just the basic egg, banana, protein powder. However, some, kids, some people don't like that, right? I'm not really a fan of that. I like to use actual pancake mix. So but let's add some protein into this and make it even tastier. Let's grab a bowl here. Okay. So I'm just using the basic. This is where my scoop was. I already took it. <laughs> so you just want to start off with a cup of any packaged pancake mix. It doesn't have to be fancy. Just use any package mix. Okay. Then we're going to add one egg. Let's make it taste really good and add an egg. Get some protein, get some fats in here. There you go. And then let's add some water as well. Just a cup of water, not too crazy. Okay, now 
we're going to add some protein. Because if you're going to eat something that doesn't have a lot of protein, then you add protein in. Okay, so I'm just going to add about maybe half a scoop. Now, when you're adding protein into pancakes, or when you're adding protein to anything and you start adding heat to it, you just have to be careful because protein will burn. So you just, and because protein has a little bit of that sweetness, right? So make sure that you do watch your foods so it doesn't burn. I'm just gonna start my pan here. And again, you can add any flavor to your protein mix as you'd like. You can add some chocolate chips if you want. I have some stevia chocolate chips, but you know, I'm just gonna keep this simple because I like to add some fruit on top or some syrup. Okay, so I think this looks good. We're just gonna wait for our pan to heat up. So this is what my kids have every Wednesday for boys breakfast. Yes. I'm not, I'm not allowed because I have to go and work. Not part of the boys. There you go. Okay, so let's, again, you want to watch your pan. Let's spray. Who do I have online here? Oh, I have Kelsey online. Hi, Kelsey. Hi, Dolores. I have Allison. Hi, Allison. Hi, Tamika. We have a few viewers online. That's great. Okay, let's get a spatula going. How are you guys doing today? It's actually a really nice day today. It's mm -hmm. nice to go for a walk. It's not too cold. So my kids like tiny pancakes, but RJ likes big pancakes. But you know, I'm making this for you, Jerome. So how do you like your pancakes? Big uh, or small? Big, please. Big? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> you know, I like big pancakes too. Okay, again, watch your pad. It doesn't have to be scorching hot. I'm just touching it. I feel like it's okay. So, Jerome wants big, we, he will get a big one. But it has to be circular, so let's make it circular. Okay, not too big. This is a good, a good size for Jerome. Yeah. We're just gonna make him one, okay? Yeah, what well, one is good? You don't need two. <laughs> It's lunchtime. <laughs> yes. I said I have to eat the tuna. Oh my god. Oh yeah, you have to eat tuna. Oh, yeah. You're gonna eat the yogurt, Jerome. Oh my god. What else are you gonna eat? Oh, the oats. You can eat it tomorrow, or you could eat it now. Up to you. Now with pancakes, you don't have to overcook it. You just want to make sure that you see bubbles popping, and that's when you know it's ready. And you just want to leave it alone. That's the secret to making pancakes. Who else do I have online? Hi, Terry. Hi, Carrie. Oh, happy birthday, Carrie. Carrie had a birthday yesterday. Right. Happy birthday. Happy Carrie. birthday. <laughs> I we saw some photos. The, uh, six, uh, yes. Burn, six yeah. We just finished the belly burn challenge 6.0 yesterday, and you know, people just looked amazing. Amazing. And uh, you know, it's so inspiring when you see people, you know, just transform themselves and are so committed. It just makes us want to keep going, right? So congrats to all you belly burners. Oh, you know what? Jerome is actually part of the belly burn 7.0. That's right. Right, Jerome? Yes, I will be. Good. Yeah, I'm still deciding which book should I do. You know, they're all amazing. That's right. I've been with all of them. They're all fantastic. We have, well, we have RJ. Mm -hmm. We have Jen. We have um, Kathy, Kathy Shelly, mm -hmm. Mark, and Tracy. Oh, sure. we have six coaches. Yeah. This is going to be so big. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, so I always say while you're waiting for stuff to cook, do something else, okay? But make sure you don't forget this. So while this is still heating up, that's when I'm going to start tidying, okay? So while you're waiting for stuff, put stuff away. For me, when I have a clean kitchen, I'm just so much happier, right? Seeing a dirty kitchen, causes me stress. Unnecessary stress. Okay. How is this going? 
What do you have plans for later today, Jerome? Um, I would family. Oh, know, family? My daughter had dance class. And okay. So that's that. Then uh, my dad's uh, party for for his birthday. Oh, and, uh, how how old is your dad turning? I Jerome, can't you don't you can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Okay, wait, we'll, we'll we'll guess around. Happy our, birthday to Jerome's dad. <laughs> Can't remember. Do you know the year? No. Okay, just happy birthday. Happy then. birthday, dad. Age is just a number, right? Okay, so I think this looks good. Oh my gosh, this is the scary part. Okay, maybe don't film me. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, oh I okay, I did good. Good. That was a nice flip. <laughs> Don't <Yeah>. film me, <laughs> <Jerome. I know. laughs> But Look at how puffy it is. Mm -hmm. Look at that. You want some fruit with your with yeah, your whatever, pancake? Whatever I have. only have banana, banana. <laughs> so if you want to have banana. <laughs> okay. So tip: I always buy small bananas, and the reason why I buy small bananas is because. Um, there's actually lots of carbs and sugar in bananas. And so if I, and I don't like to eat just half a banana, so I like to buy small bananas. Just so I eat less, right? Because if I cut it in half, I'm just going to eat the other half. But look at how puffy this is. Right? Doesn't yes. that look good? Okay, another 30 seconds. I'll show you what syrup we have also, Jerome. So, I have these two syrups here. You can pick these up from Gorilla Jack. I have this sugar-free blueberry syrup. It's amazing. Or also this maple syrup, which is also amazing. And both really inexpensive. You can find these at Gorilla Jack if you're interested. But these are what my kids like. Okay, so this is done. Look at that, Jerome. Nice. It is beautiful. <laughs> And last but not least, our simple breakfast will be eggs. Eggs. Who doesn't like eggs, right? Who doesn't? Okay, you know, Jerome, we're going to use the same pan. And I'm just spraying it lightly with um, olive oil. Mm -hmm. And so I like to use a combination of eggs and egg whites. And the reason why I'm doing it, eggs and egg whites is because egg whites one third of a cup has 10 grams of protein. Yeah, one third of a cup has 10 grams of protein. That's crazy. So we add two thirds of a cup. That's 20 grams of protein already. Yeah. Just egg whites alone. Mm -hmm. Okay, but some people don't like egg whites, right? And that's fine. That's why I like to actually add an egg. But the secret is actually, um, how I like to do it is actually cook the egg whites first and then add this on top because I don't like to overcook my egg yolk and I like to kind of have it soft cooked and then it just kind of oozes out and it just tastes so good. So this already has 20 grams of protein. If we were to add two or three eggs, you'll still have the same amount of protein. However, you're also adding now six, 18 grams of fat. We don't want to add too, much, too many grams of fat, right? Because that's a lot. So that's why I'm only using one egg. So this is good already. Like I said, let this cook a little bit further and then we'll add the egg on top. Who else do I have? Oh, Aura's online. Hi, Aura. Thanks for joining. Hey, Eileen. Did you see the cake that Aura made yesterday? Oh, yes. Oh my oh, gosh, yeah. she is so talented. Yes. Just amazing. She made um, a dumbbell cake, ube flavored and chocolate flavored. And then she made this other ube cake. Just so talented, just amazing. Okay, so let's go and add one egg on top. And I like to actually cover this too, just a little bit. So let's cover this, so that way the top cooks. And like I said, while you're waiting for stuff, put stuff away. This should be done in just a second here.
but you don't want to overcook your eggs, so you just want to make sure you keep an eye on it. Do you like your egg runny, Drew? Yes, sometimes. You do like it runny? Okay. I like it runny too. Okay, let's turn it off. Is this ready enough, Jerome, or do you want to cook more? A little bit more. A little bit more? A little bit more. Okay. Okay. So how long did this take? It took five recipes for 15 minutes, maybe? It's not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, our 20 minute mark. Oh, wow. Yeah, and that's yeah. what I estimated. Right. Okay, Jerome, is this good? Yes. <laughs> okay, so this is what, 25 grams of protein, I'm assuming? And you can also, do you want it flipped over or no, no, no. leave it as is? Okay. There. And there you have it. Another meal. Leave it here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, here. There you go. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. And here, there you have it five simple protein meals. Just to recap, we made proats, we made progurt, also some um, canned tuna, simple ways to get protein in. Um, we made some yummy protein pancakes, and I just used a simple uh, pancake mix and added some protein powder. And last but not least, simple fried eggs. Thanks, guys, for tuning in, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.